everyone. Today I'm going to present on a digital forensics tool uh, to perform some data recovery. The digital forensic tool that I'm going to use is called ISOBuster. ISOBuster is a Windows operating system tool that supports all types of media, including CDs, DVDs, uh, BDHD, DVD, hard drives, SSD, USB flash drive, zip drives, jazz drives, floppies to mention a little. So my procedure here, I'm going to do data recovery in a flash that is corrupted. The flash that is no longer readable on a machine. Uh, so I'm going to demonstrate, uh, right now I'm going to insert my flash so that you see how it responds. As you can see, uh, my flash, after inserting my flash, it's still prompting me to insert a USB into drive D. And here I'm going to cancel and I also want to show you something here. Uh, when I check or try to open the USB drive, it's still uh, popping up uh, that I should insert a USB drive into uh, a USB port. Uh, if I check on the properties of uh, this USB drive, um, you can actually see that uh, it's corrupted. It's showing that used space is zero bytes and free space is zero bytes. Um, my flash here is an eight gig uh, Toshiba uh, flash drive. So, right uh, after this procedure of inserting a flash, I'm now going to my two, which is ISO Buster. ISO Buster has so many options. It has an option to open an image file. An image file is uh, actually a file which uh, which would have been saved from uh, the evidence that would have been extracted from either the two or from somewhere. So there is also like the option of opening uh, like recent projects much more like a case uh, but today we are not going to look much more into all these uh, other items uh, what matters most now is uh, we want to select uh, our drive the reason why we are doing this is because uh, at some point uh, when we are actually actually performing uh, digital forensics there might be a person who might be denying or who might have tempered with the evidence uh, and tried to crush the flash or what else. But this tool makes it possible to scan and retrieve, retrieve all the files that were saved uh, before on the flash drive. So this tool can read quite a number of uh, file extensions. Almost all files are actually read by these two. So the first thing here is to uh, select a drive. Uh, as you see here from uh, our list, uh, we have a Toshiba Trans Memory 7.22 gig, which is actually 8 gig. Uh, this is uh, the flash drive that I'm talking about. The one that was not showing any properties uh, in our properties menu. So I'm going to select this Toshiba Trans Memory. Uh, here it's going to pop up like a message box telling me that uh, there is no file systems or no files found. Uh, like the message rate. Uh, during mounting of the disk, only a session or a track layout could be found. No file system nor files and folders could be found. Assuming you are looking for a certain missing file, we suggest you run the 
option find missing files and folder. Uh, so this is the process that I want to, to do. So here I'm going to make it so not canceling the, the process. So I'm going to click on make it so. After clicking on making it so, uh, it's going to give me another pop-up message, uh, which is telling me to work from an IPP image file, uh, which might actually be stored prior to this uh, scan. But at this stage, I'm not going to do so. I'm just going to continue scanning without making that image file first. So I'll select no so that it starts the scanning process. Uh, as you can see here, yeah, it's uh, reading all sectors of the of the flash drive. Uh, here you can see uh, it's scanning for lost data, reading sectors, all these sectors being read and the file types being scanned. And here uh, you'll be seeing like the progress, uh, the same that applies here. Uh, this is the progress. The process may actually take a while, maybe five minutes or so. So we are going to hold on and uh, uh, wait for it to finish scanning so that we see the, the, the results. Uh, here is our Toshiba Trans Memory Partition, uh, which has the sectors that are being scanned. After the scan, our results will show on the right hand panel. As, uh, our scan is uh, finishing. You can see the files that have been recovered, different files. These files were actually found via their signatures. Is highlighted here and here that uh, partition uh, zero zero files found via signatures. Uh, you can see here that we have uh, image files in T format, MP2 files which are music files, uh, MP3 files which are actually music files, DLL files, PMG files which are actually pictures and uh, a lot more of uh, this data and uh, the objects selected in the folder are 228 so meaning to say uh, the data recovered from this file, uh, flash uh, there were 228 objects including those DLL executable files so after after um, scanning and uh, uh, getting the results the next process will be acquisition of evidence which is the extraction of uh, these files so what is going to happen here is we are going to select uh, we are going to select uh, we are going to select all we are going to select all files and right click to extract uh, the objects. But this is uh, a commercial version. So the one that I'm using currently is a, a free version. So it doesn't have the features of extracting the, the object. So if I say extract objects here, it's going to prompt me to, 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 to put a professional uh, license so that I register the, the software. I think for now I can end here just because there's no more procedure that I can do in terms of uh, acquisition of uh, this evidence which is the one that is going to be put onto an image file, uh, which we can later on use uh, as our evidence. I thank you.